Ladies and gentlemen, I have a public service announcement from AZ, the Arise Apart, motherfucking deep bazaar, coming to you from San Jose, California. I am a true feminist of our generation. As a true feminist, I would tell you that I would never want a woman ever to be the president of a country, especially the United States. I'll tell you why. Every woman knows that is way too much responsibility for a fucking woman. Every woman knows that the emotional and mental pressure of that, that title is not something she would want to fucking deal with if she wanted to live a good fucking life. As a true feminist, I would like to let it be known that any woman who's running for president is actually hurting all women. You're not teaching her ambition. You're teaching her how to do something that makes her absolutely miserable because no woman wants to have that much fucking responsibility whether or not you, 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 you launch nuke missiles, whether you withdraw 100,000 troops from Iraq, bitch, you wanna decide? How about before you do that, we go buy three pairs of shoes, $1,000, pick one of the three, and I want the world to watch live. <laughs> okay, now, I'm gonna put three buttons in front of you. One shoots the nuke, one says peace, and the other one says aliens. The same, fucking human is going to try to do that and be and be explained away as what she has a harvard degree that doesn't make her not a woman what the fuck and uh she was a lawyer that makes her sneaky and fucking ugly let's keep going what else do you like well you know she's a, a long extensive uh political ugh, she's a liar let's go on what is qualifying this hoe from sitting in the most powerful position in a most powerful country on earth. So she could fucking Instagram it? Because that's what it would be for her, right? Me and my girls in Vegas, me, queen of England, and whatever. Turn up, bitches. Fucking hoes. The fuck out of here. Let's keep going, man. I cannot, I, I cannot take that. Like every woman knows, you don't want that much responsibility. You can't even wash the fucking dishes and vacuum in an hour. The fuck are you going to run a fucking country? And other women are going to cheer you on? The view? This is the, this is the year of the woman. <laughs> for what? For what? The year of the woman for what? what? What the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. You know, did you know that the congressman, so and so, she just got it. Uh, woo! That's not the year of the woman. That's a fucking congressman, some dumb hoe who fucking got somewhere. Okay. The year of the woman is when the man takes care of her. There's the year of the woman. Okay? 2019, the year of the woman, where men became men and took care of women. Now, does any feminist want to fucking argue with me? Huh? Do you want to put me on one side and feminists on the other side, and we let the planet decide who stands on my side with this philosophy, who stands on their side? Ladies of the world, 2019 is the, is the year of the female. That fucking butch asshole over there says that that means you have to compete for, as a president job. You have to be a senator. You have to be uh, in the troops. You, you're going to go to war, bitch. That's what you're going to fucking do. That's her. All right? On my side, it's the year of the female too. I'm going to make some real powerful men that are going to take care of you. What I need you to do is be a good girl and take care of your man. Okay? We'll, we'll let 2019, 2019 play forward for a minute. And I want to see at the end of one year, the women on that side versus the women on this side. How soon would they start jumping ship? How soon would they start, oh, fuck this, I'm at, like, you know, you know I, really, I really appreciate like the movement you're doing and it's like, it's really cool, but like for myself right now, I'm young and I want to explore other options and I just want to explore the other option of a feminist because like I've only been, I've only known this and it's like, I feel so much pressure. This is how girls, this is how girls talk, right? Like literally this is how girls talk, right? They get, they get out of like, like, they get out of motherhood like that. Like I just had a child. I know it's like, it's my baby, but right now it's like, I'm just trying to focus on like, I'm going to go back to school. I got to do me, you know, the baby's like, like, how can I take care of the baby if I don't take care of me? Arash says, what are you talking your way out of a baby? The fuck are you talking about? That's how they do it. Right. I know we've been together for 20 years. You've given me your life. We're married. We have this, this and that. We have children. I know it's our anniversary today. I decided to leave. You did? Today, fuck yeah, toast, let's go. Why? Because that's how the Joker was created. You, 
bitch, just created a joker. I'm now free of all your problems. Why? Because how the fuck could you do that? <laughs> like I, I mean, you know, if you guys have been in that situation, right? This has become like a man show today. But girls need to hear this shit. I watch their faces. I see the video right there. Look how pretty she is. Desiree, look at her. But she's deep in, she's almost, she doesn't know what the fuck to do. What are all those emotions I'm feeling? That's honestly the look on her face. It's like, whoa. Inside is like a fucking circle right now of energy going like this in her. It's exciting. I know. I can feel what I put out. Okay, let's do this again. What do we got? Next question. 